okay so uh, we uh, last session we did the uh, sentence correction you know we did the sentence correction uh, we focus mainly on parallel construction today uh, we'll take up a couple of more commonly tested uh, you know like uh, tested rules of uh, sentence correction the most commonly tested is of course parallel construction uh, after this so uh, the f uh, first concepts of today i'll cover two concepts and then we'll start doing the uh, questions so singular plural right so uh, the technical language for this is subject verb agreement you know uh, you might be more aware of this uh, term it's called subject verb agreement but in my head i like to think about it as singular plural right uh, because it's far more clear it, it gives me, uh, you know, when I'm looking for singular plural, when I keep telling myself singular plural, singular plural, uh, you know, I'm actually, uh, I find it easier to find the errors, you know. Um, uh, uh, instead, if I call it subject verb agreement, it seems like with something very difficult or something very uh, abstract, you know. So, I like to call it singular plural for my own sake, you know, it makes life easier for me. So uh, it is also a commonly tested rule, uh, not a, uh, of course, as I told you, most commonly tested is parallel construction, but um, uh, singular plural is also quite, uh, you know, tested. Uh, uh, unlike parallel construction, so uh, we did a lot of, we did lots of parallel construction questions last session. So uh, there are a lot of parallel construction questions where you can get to the correct answer, you know, purely through uh, rules of parallel construction. So unlike that, in a singular plural, it, it, it usually comes, you know, uh, combined with some other rule, you know, you will not find a lot of questions where you can um, get to the correct answer purely uh, by applying the rule of singular plural. So um, the lower difficulty questions may be, but the higher difficulty in higher difficulty uh, questions, singular plural always comes uh, combined with some other rule. Uh, it can be tricky identifying singular plural, plural can be tricky but uh, we will uh, i'll talk about some uh, some identifiers how to identify it i'll talk about that and uh, that should again uh, that should help you you know right so recap very very uh, quick recap it's, it is easy to understand it's like you know everybody knows uh, singular right one one plus whenever you have to talk about a single thing it's singular whenever you have to talk about more than one thing is plural so so uh, and uh, so it's like uh, singular and if it's more than one it's uh, plural uh, and depending on whether you're talking about one thing or two things the uh, the verb changes right so uh, I like to think about you know this uh, just uh, sorry just you know that s does you know singular is s right so plural do you know so uh if you just go from there so anything singular you know s you know runs or uh, s drinks um s uh, you know singular that means right singular drink singular it so you will need the s here for plural it's run drink you know so anything that you don't have the n you don't have the s so if the s is not there it's plural if s is there it's Yes, you know singular right so um, that's how I like to think about it again as I said it makes my, makes my life easier uh, some other forms of you know this is uh, like you know that um, this is one direct verb right runs but if you have to say uh, has uh, singular has run so again you have the so you know or you can say plural uh, again you, you don't have you don't have the s now it will be called plural have runs so you don't have the s here so has is singular have is plural so these are some uh, these are some uh, things to remember Right, uh, my internet got disconnected, so I'm back now. So, uh, as I was saying, that you know that uh, uh, 
so for singular plural you know your s is an indicator of uh, that is going that is talking about one person so does uh, then has run or have run similarly you know you can say uh, singular like is you know again you have the s here is running is doing so is anything with is uh, plural will not have the s plural will just have the r, r you know so it is it does not have the s instead of trying to remember that uh, plural is r you just remember that there is no s in it okay so uh, these are some very 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 basic ways of remembering you know so when i was learning english you know in school you know so grammar so this is how my teacher used to teach us and i it kind of stuck with me you know and i find it very very easy to remember that you know singular has s in it so anything that singular does will have an s in it you know so uh, so some things that you learn you know if it's taught very simply you know you you uh, you uh, like remember it for the rest of your life so that's how i learned singular plural and that's how i like to teach singular plural also instead of calling giving it a very complicated name of subject verb agreement etc okay uh, so you guys clear with this you guys clear okay uh, any questions till now okay now i'll talk about identifiers right so how do you uh, of the of the hundreds of rules that we are going to teach you that we have already taught you you know how do you know in what question what rule to apply so for that you need some clear identifiers or triggers right we talked about the triggers for sentence uh, for parallel construction so to, so now the triggers for singular plural how do you know that the question is is testing you on singular plural right so again uh, remember the uh, locations where you look for errors uh, word, words uh, first words of the underlined portion remember or not we discussed this first words of underlined portion right uh, then the last words of underlined portion last words of underlined portion and and what else then there was the uh, uh, words, just one or two words before the underlined portion, right? And one or two words after the underlined portion, yes? So we look at these locations to see what type of error these are this give you uh did you give you this give you a heads up or this give you an entry point right so in these locations look for these things you know as i said remember use uh, look for you know runs versus run you know or does versus do you know is versus are has versus have look for these things you know the moment you have seen this you know uh, you, you start looking for the uh, main thing okay what is it talking about who is running you know if it's run versus runs who is running if it's one thing if it's a singular person only one single thing running then it will be runs if it is more than one person running then it will be run uh, if it's like again uh, that's one person uh, uh, having something it will be has if it's more than one person then it will be have so so that's how you have to go you know you just once you locate any of these kind of errors any of these kind of variances you know literally in these locations then you go back and then what is what is the what is this thing you know talking about is it one thing or more than one thing so it's a uh, uh, it's it's comparatively easy it sounds comparatively easy but uh, uh, you know for singular plural as I said it can be tricky purely because uh, the thing that for instance if you have a run in runs you know the thing that that is running you know may not be directly you know in front of the word runs it is not going to be something like uh, uh ram runs it's not going to be that like that it will be like ram who is the chairman of the uh you know house of commerce and lives in this thing. so there will be a lot of words separating the uh, person that this word is talking about so that's why it becomes tricky right everybody clear about this understood this okay right. 
Joy see that Suminder you have joined. You know, so uh, do come on time from next time, okay? If you come late, you miss. So you need to come on time. Okay, so moving on. So now that we are done with the concept of singular plural. And the identifies, everybody remember the identifies. Now we talk about this another thing called like unlike. It's called, it's a type of parallelism but not necessarily. So it's, it's for comparison. Instead of like unlike, you know, it, it can be in contrast with, in comparison to anything that you, that is used to compare things. Right. So for this also there is a rule, right. So I'm going to discuss these, the concepts of these two rules first and then we'll jump into the questions. It's also very commonly tested rule, you know, it's comparatively easy, extremely easy and uh, as soon as you can identify these rules, it's can and, and uh, they're like very clear identifiers, right? So it's comparatively easy. It's, I would say this is even easier than parallel construction, you know, identifying that a question is testing you on this rule is even easier uh, than identifying parallel construction. Uh, just recap of the concept. So bear with me if you already know this stuff, uh, just bear with me. I'm sure you guys already know this stuff. So uh, when this rule is tested, the uh, sentence structure is usually like this, you know, the sentence will either begin with, you know, like, unlike, or, you know, in comparison with, con or in uh, contrast to, whatever, it will have some words indicating the comparison, uh, etc, 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 and then there will be a comma, then the etc, 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 right. So what you have to compare, right, you have to look at the first couple of words immediately after this word. And the first couple of words immediately after the comma. That's all. You don't have to read this part. You don't have to word read this part. You have to compare these two stuff, right? And they have to be comparable. So, um, if uh, if they're talking about food, then you know the uh, if if this box is a food, then this also should be a food. You know, it cannot be um, unlike uh, apples, comma uh, the uh, color. Uh, uh, the color of carrots is red. Now that is wrong. So if I, if in this sentence, if I say uh, like apples, comma uh, the color of carrots is red. So what am I comparing? I'm comparing apples with car uh, with the color, which is wrong. I have to compare apples with carrots, right? That is the correct comparison. So the structure of the sentence should be like apples, comma carrots are red. You know, so that is the correct structure of the sentence. So apples being compared with um, with carrots for what? For their color. Uh, but if the sentence is like apples, comma the color of um, carrots is red, then the comparison is not between uh, apples and carrots. The comparison then ends up becoming from um, uh, between uh, colors and uh, and apples. So which is wrong. So this that's why it's extremely easy to uh, solve these questions. These are uh, these are literally 10 second or 5 second questions so this like unlike questions are 5 to 10 second questions you know this you cannot take more than like you know 10 15 seconds on like unlike questions you know because they're extremely easy as only this is the only thing that you have to do so i'll i'll uh, you will understand when i you know when we do some questions now coming to identifiers or triggers right it all uh, as i discussed with you know how do you know whether the question is testing you on this error or not right so you begin by uh, and i also say that they have got clear identifiers so look out for words you know like uh, unlike you know right uh, a comparison in comparison with in contrast with anything and where do, do, do you look for this uh, beginning of the sentence beginning of the sentence not just underline portion right beginning of the sentence and after a comma these two locations so if you have any of these uh, words in these two locations then it's a clear indication that the question is testing you on this this comparison rule and once you have identified that then remember our structure you just have to come uh, you know uh, remember our structure of the sentence so you just have to compare these two boxes that's it that's that's how easy it is Everybody clear about this uh, about this rule? I'm sure you already knew this. Everybody okay? Any questions? Suminder, can you hear me? Okay. 
Okay, right. So now let's let's do some questions. Okay. So what is this question going to be about? What do you spot? Even without see after after you practice a lot of questions, uh, you don't even have to actually consciously look for things. Just things will start coming to you. The sentence begins with the word unlike. Right? You notice this? So it's just so it's clear. So let's first see whether it is the 95% uh, chance that this question is going to test you on on the like unlike rule. So unlike something something okay we have the comma but we have you know and then uh, so this follows the structure. Now remember in the last session I told you that there is something then uh, there is something between the commas followed by something you know and if this portion is talking about this portion if this portion is just describe, describing this portion then then we just rule it out you know and uh, then read the sentence. Uh, to begin with so that's what we do we see the word we see a comma yes but we also see the word whose so we directly know that this portion this portion between the commas is talking about the automobile company right so we don't read this at all right we don't read this at all right now we don't read this so right now we try to remember what the structure of the like unlike sentence should be unlike something unlike x blah 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 comma y right and this x and y what we have to compare we don't have to read the rest of it so we know that unlike automobile company so automobile company is your x here right and the, what is the y we have got the research so which is your y so automobile company and research is that uh, is that a fair comparison no company so uh, let's not read about all of this all of this we are not reading anywhere right to begin with so we are looking we are looking for uh, the automobile company and research you know is not comparable company again automobile company and research not comparable automobile company and research not comparable automobile companies research great and research of course both of them are comparable again automobile companies research and research both of them are comparable right so we have these two things now good news we have these two things okay so we have been able to just by using the rule of like unlike we have been able to eliminate three options we are down to two now how do we pick from these two just let me clean up the screen a bit okay so now this this uh, are out so now we read unlike the automobile company's research having been based on uh, it just does not make any sense to way too long you know and if we read unlike the automobile company's uh, research on crashes blah 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 the research so this is a very clear formation concise you know uh, and everything so this is your you know this is your uh, correct answer this is not your correct answer understood Yes, and what's your question? So, Suminder and Ar Arnav, you guys are clear? So, uh, read this. Unlike the automobile company's research, having been based, so uh, versus on. So automobile automobile companies research on something, right? Having been based, no, no, is is exactly the same thing. So what? So this is Jima. This is also another thing. If two options are co conveying almost the same meaning, then the shorter one, the one that ha that where the meaning is being conveyed in fewer words, that is the correct answer. That's why. Okay. So, uh, Arnav, I think there may be some connectivity issue at your end because uh, my uh, my connectivity is fine. There might be some issue at your end. Okay, so let's go to the next question. Again, comparatively easy because the 
the very beginning of the sentence we have the word unlike so you know what we have to do unlike blah 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 comma this thing so unlike x y so let's find out what the x and y is unlike a provident fund this is your x here again see in which blah 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 so this portion is just describing the provident fund so let's not read it right now this will just make our life more difficult so unlike provident fund so what we are looking for so comparison has to be between something similar to compare you know your, if your x is provident fund your y also has to be something similar to provident fund so let's compare is provident fund uh, something similar to a pay as you go approach no it is not the foundation again not comparable the approach not comparable the social securities approach again it is still an approach by the way you know it's not social securities approach means social securities approach it does not mean social security so it's out so it's e is your correct answer this is a very very easy question right all you all we did all we did was just uh, see after the whatever is appearing after the comma if it is directly comparable with provident fund or not that's it yes and suminder did you get this question any any doubts okay so but just just note what we did here just again, just to uh, uh, in the first session also i talked to uh, talk to you about this that you know if if uh, if you are getting a question correct by taking more time it's like as as good as you know getting it wrong so the focus has to be on getting it uh, correct in as less time as possible so in this uh, question while solving this uh, you know by cutting out this portion we were able to solve it in a far uh, you know far lesser time so that should be the objective okay okay now i'll give you uh, okay how about this you guys try this 10 seconds Okay, so uh, Suminder got it right. Uh, how about Arnav and Anne? This is a, again a very easy question. You know, you should not have the, you should not have taken so much time. Let's see. Unlike uh, you know where farmers can blah blah blah. We're not talking about this. We are not going to look at this anywhere. You know, we are not. So we are just going to see unlike the United Kingdom. You know. Which the united kingdom in this or in option a what is getting compared united kingdom the range not same the united kingdom farmers right this is one thing the range again not uh, you know uh, not similar those now i am not, in this option c i am not even going to look for what is there after the comma the very fact that we have a those here now this those you know needs something before it to have meaning you know because but in, we just have a random dose we don't know what it is referring to so i don't even have to read the rest of it i just eliminate it now in comparison with again the united kingdom the range out e so this is actually a 5 second question so you need to uh, you know you need to solve move through these questions very very fast you know if you get two three like unlike questions then you will be able to save a lot of time on the exam the trick is to solve this question in an in your 5 10 second mark not even 30 seconds 5 10 second mark that should be the objective okay everybody clear though this 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 question is clear and i think any were joining it joining us for the first time so are you are you able to keep up okay great okay go start Yep. Mm -hmm. 
okay let's see okay so uh, we'll start with here you know the uh, a lot of it is underlined so we'll start directly with the option so unlike the lives markov so markov is a person not life not comparable right uh, again this portion you should not be considering at all this just describing you know uh, this rushdi blah 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 just, so you don't even have to read this Chekhov, unlike the other tried biographies, so Chekhov is not a biography, right? So this is out. The life of something, unlike the lives, okay? Right comparison, so we'll stick with this. Markov and his life. So it's a weird combination to begin with, unlike that. Now in this case, we don't know. Is this that referring to uh, his life or is it that is this that referring to Markov? We don't know. This is anyway weird weird combination markov and his life is any anyway weird weird combination because those two are very different to begin with so will this option is out option again the life of markov okay unlike that so okay this is also uh you know that can uh, to ref of uh you know to life of other blah 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 so life of other so life of biographies life of a person right so you are the comparison between life of a uh, you know a person with life of biographies which is wrong so your option c is correct yes i'm sure you would get it correct but the point is to get it correct in five to ten seconds so were you able to do this question faster Okay, great. At the end of the day, these sessions should help you, you know, learn something and help you solve questions fast. That's it. So, Arnav, yeah, I mean, that's okay. Today you are doing it for the first of, you know, but 5 to 10, stay in that range, you know. Stay in that range. Try to like, unlike questions. So, going forward, when you are doing any like, unlike questions, give yourself, you know, not more than 10 seconds. You know, you should be able to be in and out. Okay, let's look at this question. Again, 5 to 10 should be 5 to 10 seconds. Okay, great, Arnav. How about the rest of you? Suminder and uh, Anne. No, nah. okay. I'll walk you through it. You see the word unlike, okay? Now let's see what's what's what, unlike means comparison. Let's see what's getting compared. You see the word that, so I don't have to worry about. I am not reading this at all because that is just defining this, so we don't read about which that. We are not reading all this part. So, Landowska something versus this is the thing. This is a Y here. We need to find what the X is. So Landowska is something uh, compared to a human being is wrong comparison. Landowska and her distinct compared to just a human being wrong comparison. Landowska, okay, versus another human being is correct. 14 tone system being compared with a human being wrong comparison. Again, Landowska and it's just you know two different very different things being compared to one human being is wrong. So C is your answer. Right? So, uh, just like, you know, things between commas uh, may describe what comes before. Words such as that, which, when, they also describe things that come before, you know. So, you can safely ignore all this portion. Especially in this question, you actually should not even read till here. You should just read, is it a human being? So, because we know in this case, the Y is not underlined, right? The Y is the Y is a human being, a Crawford. How do you know it's a human being? Because it starts with capital letter C. It's a human being, right? So we need to know, like you know, uh, so X should also be a human being. So that should be your logic. You actually should not be reading this much. Just the first couple of words, and you should be done. Yes. So, uh, so Arnav and Suminder, you guys uh, did it uh, quite well. So I hope you that helps you gain confidence, right?
okay and by the way you know these are just just to clarify these are not demo questions you know these are uh, no these are gmat level questions so if you are doing this well you know you are actually uh, you know you are doing gmat level questions by the way these are not just some questions we have picked up you know to uh, for this sessions these are gmat level questions okay how about this okay okay great so anav and suminder good you took slightly longer but that's okay today is the first day so it's okay i think you will just keep on practicing you will be able to pick up your speed so again the moment we see who is when blah 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 i just forget about it so we your our x is in the underlined portion so x is the virginal we don't know what the virginal is so let's compare you know the her uh, harpsichord several so definitely you know from from this we can make kind of understand this is talking about a musical instrument right we also see the word instrument so we so the virginal is an is a musical instrument so after the comma we need the name of a musical instrument the harpsichord several sets of strings is not a musical instrument the several sets of strings again not a musical instrument again in this in case of this is this is I'll, I'll this is a this is a form of redundancy i'll tell you uh the harpsichord yes the virginal the harpsichord musical instrument the harpsichord several sets is also not a musical instrument so d is your correct answer now uh, now uh, look out for this type of uh, this type of redundancy when you say unlike or like you know you are already comparing like unlike blah, blah blah you are already comparing right so you don't need to have these words you know in the case of so that makes it redundant then this in the case of is redundant the uh, it this and this they have the same meaning you don't need to say it twice in a sentence so that's this this is anyway you know uh that's why this is a redundant okay now this question we have got the correct answer but i wanted i want to point out something hang on let me clean this up so and are you uh, gaining a bit of confidence in terms of time great see it's not just learning the rules it's it's knowing how to apply them to save time you know right okay in this question by the way yes this like and unlike are clear clear triggers but if this were not here then uh, remember we talked you know this this could have been solved using um, you know using some other rules also see runs uh, running runs note this run run yes they can be a, so running of course uh, we don't know whether it's singular or plural but you have got this runs two runs and two run you know yes so there can be a there is there is definitely a singular plural error also i'm just showing this to you uh, this question you know you need not even get to this level you can uh, get it correct purely by uh, purely through the like unlike rule but there is also a uh, there is also a, a singular plural error now let's see what this run is referring to who is running what is running let's try to read it the uh, a single single set of strings now this is a this is a higher level rule actually you know you would think that a single set should be singular right yes or no you would your logic will be a single set it's in fact even using the word single set that is your gmat trap you know a single set is not runs it's run now uh, we talked about very straightforward single verb uh, a singular plural thing things like family uh set uh like a, a set of strings a uh, family of uh, pigeons uh, a team of uh, workers you know so these are these are these are always plural so 
so family set team these are always plural on the gmat exam right uh, so your uh, uh, so if you get distracted by seeing the word single single you know and you eliminate all the plural ones in this question you know uh, then you will actually get this question wrong so that's the so the the singular plural rule that is tested on this question is a very high level no it's not there is no there is no you know uh, there is there is not a uh, you know uh, quicker way you know it's just that the gma does not test a lot on those these are the these are the ones that they test on family set team you know you just need to remember this so when this said that a family of a uh, family of four people or blah, blah, all then it will be plural it, it is not it's not going to um, it's not going to be singular okay now and uh, gmat is a uh, very famous for the traps you know so in this question if you did not try if you did not see the unlike you know you would be carried away by a single set has to be runs you know you will get carried by away by this and you will eliminate the uh, you will eliminate the wrong uh, correct answer okay but uh, if you follow our methods you will you will uh, you will you know uh, see the unlike first if you do the way we are telling you to do now you will see the unlike first and you will not follow into this gmat trap okay so did you understand what i told you about this the uh, this this family set team this thing and suminder you there suminder are you okay okay great any questions okay now this is your uh, you will see you no know, in the beginning of the and you see the word has has have have so what is this going to be so in what is this going to be this going to be singular plural right by the way you remember uh, we uh, now you have to like remember lots of things you know lots of when you look for triggers also if we go by whatever we uh, you know you could have also seen the and here right you could have also seen the and here and started with parallel construction i have no problem with that you know you could uh, spot the and in the last words and start with parallel uh, start with parallel construction or you could have spotted the has have first and start with singular plural perfectly fine not an issue as long as as long as you are able to identify one entry point i am okay yes these are the two entry points these are the two places of error you uh, if you are able to identify one of them fine you should not be sitting in the exam hall oh my god how do i solve this question you know this question has two entry points you have to identify only one to begin with right so let's just do this question so has have so what is it talking about right uh cost cutting and restructuring two things two things what is this more than one thing so it's not singular it's plural so we can chuck out these two options then we start with the parallel construction right we see the and okay have allowed the manufacturing company can lower so there is you know lower and two remember that does not work if we have a preposition plus uh, x you know joined by and it has to be preposition plus x right we talked over you know we talked about this so this is wrong we here we have got a uh, two forecast we've got two lower have allowed the manufacturing company to lower its projected blah 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 and to forecast so this looks correct let's look at the have allowed blah 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 a uh, two lower as well as so it is not it's not parallel at all so arnav how come you told me e as well as is also equivalent to and right yes sumender and did you get it da ah, you cannot say manufacturing forecasting you have to go remember we talked about this that you know you see and then you don't begin at the beginning 
you spotted the end towards the end of the part so you are not going to do this you know you have to you have to find the you know you have to start like this we talked about this okay so don't jump the gun also you know parallel construction you know we have seen this it's a little tricky it can be a little tricky you know so just don't jump the gun also but at least if you are able to eliminate you know two options you know using just singular plural then uh, this is a very easy question this is a medium level gmat question you know, i call it easy because based on whatever you have learned till now you should be able to solve this question in in your within the 15 20 second mark yes agreed suminder and arnav whatever you have learned till now using this you can get this question correct uh, within that 15 20 seconds so this is even though it's a uh, uh, medium level gmat question you guys for you it should be easy okay uh, remember I told you that unlike parallel construction, you know, your singular plural or like unlike you will, you will, no, there will be very few questions where you can get it correct using only that rule. It will usually be combined with some other rule. In this question, the uh, singular plural is combined with parallel construction. So, uh, so that's okay. You have to be in the lookout for that. Let's try this. No, 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 wrong, Suminder. <laughs> no, and you are also wrong. is the correct answer okay let's do this right so you see has has have have so what is it talking about so we see since 2000 you know uh, enrollments enrollments plural of uh, africans blah 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 you know in full-time program so enrollments more than one enrollment right so you don't need has you have to look at have have and then increase can be uh, either singular or plural so we are not eliminating it right now okay so <coughs> now we read uh, when you are <coughs> when you are down to two three options it helps to do uh, horizontal scanning remember we also discussed horizontal scanning that you scan just pick two options and scan till you find the first point of you know divergence so here we have got so I'll just pick D and E because they have similar beginnings. So you have got have steadily increased, have steadily increased. While, while. So while is also, it means it's comparing, right? While the number and I see here that. Okay. So now that, what is this that talking about? That of other students. What? If it if it if the dad is talking about enrollments, then it should be those, right? So there's a singular plural error here also. Other students, you know. So this is out. This is also another singular plural error. So it's down. It's out, right? Option D now, which has while the number of other students, okay, makes sense. Number of has fallen so number and has is also you know number is singular so has is also singular so this looks good now we'll come to this option so here you know your it's your problem is with the increase now this is a this is this question is also testing you on tenses right you know everybody knows sing uh past tense present tense etc etc so when you have words such as since you know uh, uh, still so these two words these indicate that you know you have you have the uh, you know 
you need to have a has have you know you need to have a past perfect tense right you can't uh, you only simple past tense will not work the existence of the words since and still you know it means that there was an action which started in the past but it is still continuing in the present the effects are still happening in the present so the because we this have we have this word since here it cannot be a simple past anymore we need a has have tense right clear suminder you okay yes multiple thing but this is this i don't i don't expect you to do this in 5 10 seconds remember our what was our objective our objective was to do all the sentence correction questions on average time of 30 second right so this this can be your 20 30 second questions just perfectly fine and did you get it so look out for this trigger so in i will be talking about triggers you know i i am trying to make verbal as formula oriented as possible so since still if you see the word since or still then the tense is going to be the tense with has have i am not going to make you remember the name of the tense right then you need to have you know have has or have or has you know in front of the verb right so that's what you need to remember okay i mean i'll do a separate session on tenses because tense is a uh, is a trickier part so we'll have a separate session on tenses as well but for now you need to remember this and remember the triggers okay right so moving on yep again this is this is this is you will not be able to solve it in 10 seconds take 20 seconds 25 seconds you should be fine okay let's start so this question and you could have seen a uh, have here has here has so this is uh, you know mm, this is your here or uh, or you could have seen uh, are bringing uh, bring uh, is bringing are bringing so there are two, there are multiple entry points into this question you know bring you know so uh, so so bring is uh, uh, bring is plural right bring is plural is bringing is singular are bringing is plural bring is so you we have got some uh, so you could have entered anywhere right right so uh, let's see i don't know what do you want to do let's start with have has right out of russia's obsession with or blah 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 a market for out of russia's obsession right is obsession singular or plural obsession is one thing so we don't need a plural so out of russia's obsession with all things this thing have so out has grown a market so we need the has here right so now has uh, now now we are stuck with is bringing that bring so we have got uh, two uh, two plural and one and one singular right has grown a market for bygones so it's a market market is singular or plural market is singular okay 
so i mean you might have seen that i, I have done it quite fast i don't expect you to uh, do this you know do uh, this this fast so soon but before uh, the, you know before you have you know decided to take the gmat exam you know like one two weeks uh, before the before your gmat exam you should level uh, you should reach you know this level of you know uh, you know this level of speed i should say okay everybody clear with this sumender you okay and arnav clear See, you should have the habit of you know uh, reading fast no, uh, yet not reading not reading uh, uh, everything uh, scanning right so i saw are bringing is bringing so i am just i have just started uh, uh, and take have so uh, no till now till till this portion that we have anywhere solved it so i am not going to read this portion at all right a market for uh, etc so i am not even reading this i have seen a market for now these stuff are just saying what you know Uh, what is uh, what type of stuff so you know i need to market is what i need the uh, singular plural for so you just have to develop this habit of you know reading yet not reading are you able to understand what i'm trying to say you are reading you are you are literally scanning you are not reading all of it you just have to know what is the moment i see market for i know that uh, all of this is is not going to you know uh it doesn't matter what these things are and you, and you will learn the tricks and these are not random stuff right by the way i see a market for now market for apples market for apple market for mangoes uh whether it's apple or apples does not matter right because you know this is the market that is uh, bringing so it still remain market remains your main uh, you know main thing so that's why you have to identify not random you know market for if i didn't see the word for i would not have you know uh, uh i would not have like uh, like read so uh, so rapidly i saw this for a market for something for me just i'll just read this entire post is market for something that is bringing you know in your head try to try to uh, like substitute big stuff with something simple market for something that's it you know read it as market for something that is bring so you know your uh, the moment you see the that you know that it's it's talking about a market which will be is bringing not uh, not plural so uh, so sumender and and were you able to get this question correct to so, and i think got the question correct right so remember i told you last time also you are not getting extra points you know you are not getting uh, extra uh, points for reading the question for understanding the question or for uh, pronouncing the words correctly you nobody is going to give you points for that you know you are getting points for solving the question correctly so let's focus on that yep arnav you too yes okay so this is a question that we did uh, with you know pure uh, pure singular plural but of course you know two we had to check the singular plural thing in two locations that's the only thing uh on of note the pre departure is for people who are heading out for the fall 2017 so you don't have to worry about that um, i will pre conducting for you guys next year so don't worry about that we conduct it every you know every year for people heading out for the coming fall session Okay, <coughs> moving on. Let's do some more questions. Yep. This is easy. Okay. Great. So here, you know, you should see spins versus spin. At the same time, you also have where versus was. You know, what can be a little confusing or combination is that you know you could be okay. So, uh, what is this where talking about? What is this spins talking about? Right. So when you so I'm here. I'm going to give you another uh, uh, another uh, hack. I should say. any just like things coming between commas that you can eliminate if they are talking talking about the thing coming before that 
things between dashes you can always eliminate don't worry about this so don't read about this so the direction in which uh, earth and other solid planets what will they do our earth and solid planets are more than one planet will always spin right so spins is wrong you are left with spin okay now do you need so both of them are now was determined right so the direction the direction was determined by as a result of you know determined by is the correct usage right you always determine something by something moreover this is the shorter more concise version with the same meaning so you go with the simple you could have also started with this you know the direction always has to be you know was not uh, where so you would go with uh, you will eliminate this and then the next step is that you will eliminate spins so you could have done that way also but again as i said this is uh, this is a very straightforward question but it is also a gmat it has come in the gmat exam so this is also a gmat question by the way you know even though it's so simple okay got this right everybody got this right okay No, Suminder, think again, think again. Okay. The entry points, you see, has singular, singular, plural, 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 okay? Or you could have also this, you know, the singular, plural, singular, singular, plural, right? You could have uh, entered the question, you know, through anything, right? So you see uh, what we are talking about, right? You know, uh, the time. Now remember, any stuff that is when. So this portion is just describing the time when blah 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 when blah blah blah, right? Don't read all this portion. See, these are things that you need to just. This is just things that should come naturally to you whenever you see anything it can be portion between the commas it can be stuff you know such as you know portion starting with that uh, you know uh, when uh, you know where which blah 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 all this stuff is only talking about the time so don't read don't let let all of that distract you by the way right also in this question have you noticed that how much stuff is there after the underlying portion have you noticed this by the way you know so uh you know if you are to solve this question through traditional me method so you'll be like reading this entire huge question then you'll be reading the options it, you it will take you easily one and a half minutes to solve this question so don't these are gmat traps we don't need all of this right and you don't even read this so that that time time is singular or plural time is singular so you have has so you're here now now let's see you know has been accepted okay has so we are doing horizontal scanning we are just comparing these two options by carbon so all till here no difference but what is much more but what is much more difficult to determine difficult to determine okay this is the only point of difference so what is it going to be is or are what is much more difficult to determine is right 
right so you don't need you know also after the underlying portion you have got the reason just to just double verification right but this portion is also underlined right so you have got the reason the reason is anyway singular so this is out this is your correct answer this is wrong yes everybody understood so how many uh, so uh, so did any of you you know when you were reading the question just hang on let me clean up the screen a bit so when you were reading the question so uh, did you did you guys eliminate this part yes were you able to do that did you do that okay good arnav you are you are uh, you are like you know so now this is reaching the next level of then you know next level of tech this 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 stuff should now start coming naturally to you without even realizing you are moving to the next level now you know because nobody is going to teach you to do that you know you are just you are you are kind of going to the next level and this 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 small small tricks you know these are going to be extremely you know useful in saving time okay so yes yeah, so, so mean that you also did that that's great so and you should also now start developing these things you know just just we'll we, we discuss this in our sessions and all okay also by the, even if you did even if you did not you know uh, ignore it if you just read the time when the great painted uh, caves at you know so i would the moment i see at i would read at somewhere i don't get extra points for pronouncing you know laska or altamira i'm not going to get extra points for that so i just say at somewhere were inhabited by something some you know so i am not going to read this anyway the so best thing is the moment you see when uh, when you know you just don't read this portion or even even if you have not reached that level at least these are the basic stuff that you should start doing at anything started doing with capital letter anything starting with capital letter right just there is no error there is you are not going to have any error in this word trust me because this is a proper noun right and gmat will uh, you know gmat will intentionally give you words that are difficult to pronounce that is supposed to distract you that's uh, supposed to you know like uh, uh, confuse you right because uh, this is human nature when you are reading anything you try to mentally pronounce the words okay that this is just human nature and those uh, milliseconds that you are wasting in trying to pronounce correctly you are just you are getting distracted from the question these are very very common gmat traps so stay away from those okay i mean in gmat every question there is a logic why they make it like that you know there is there is a reason for every word that they put in okay yes are not very correct even if you have to read it out you just read it uh when the great uh, when the great painted cave set l and a we discussed this in the first class in the last session right it's good to note that or now you remembered that l and a has been confirmed by carbon 14 dating you know uh, so th that's enough you know uh by up people you know so just remember you know it's good it's really good to see that you you have remembered the stuff that we discussed in the previous session so um, uh, you know that's the good use of your time actually you know <laughs> right okay yep yes should not be taking you that long come on yeah so this thing that you should have spotted is this so how many so you know so here now you know so uh, how many things if it is one thing it will be has if it is two things it will be you know have so uh, 
the this is the one thing separated by comma two things and you have see the we see the and also the moment you see the and you can anyway just you know it's more than two things so you eliminate all the options it has so you are left with two options so traffic congestion one thing right and and we have got the we got the end right what do we do we check for parallel construction traffic congestion one thing noun longer travel traveling trips again noun two things and the increasing clamor for law so this is also increasing clamor this is also one thing so these are all nouns you know so this this looks good in terms of parallel construction also here let's see we've got the end you know increasing clamor for okay now this is worrying you know as well as this you know and longer so uh, so this you know why do you have the as well as well, you already have an and so nobody says that a as well as b and c you would say a b and c you won't even say a and b and c because of the presence of as well as it seems that you know that the clamor is for lodging and traffic congestion yes or no right you know it seems that increasing clamor for lodging and traffic congestion which is a problematic thing let's say you don't know the meaning of the word clamor you know it can either be a positive thing or a negative thing let's say it's a positive thing so anytime positive thing you know i will i always replace it at love you know the increasing love for lodging and traffic congestion does not make sense who would love traffic congestion or if it, it can, clamor can be a negative thing so let me replace it with hate the increasing hate for lodging and traffic congestion well how why will you hate lodging you know this is another trick that i do whenever i don't know the meaning of a word you know they, it can either be a positive word or a negative word if it's a just to see just to make it fit uh, you know i just replace it with love for the sense you know for a positive uh, meaning and the word hate for negative and see whether it makes sense or not right i don't expect you to know the meanings of all the you know uh, all the words so it just it can it will have you know either a positive meaning or negative meaning replace it at love for positive hate for negative and see whether it makes sense or not right everybody understood there are a lot of cool tricks that you can do you know to make your life easier i always believe that to get a good score in gmat verbal you don't need to know a lot of grammar or vocabulary you just need to have you just need to be smart you need to have a decent iq that's it you know okay and you still there are you got this question all clear See, I'm sure you guys will be getting a lot of these questions clear. So the objective is of today's session is not just for you to get these questions correct. It's also for you to learn some tricks on along the way. It's also for you to learn the easiest and the quickest way to solve the question. So if you solve this question on your own and you took one minute, uh, then I'm still not happy with it. You know? Okay. Very easy question. Come on. Okay. Let's start. So we have got you know two types of singular plural errors in this question. So let's start. Uh, do we need infants or infant? I don't know. It's saying one of. 
five so right you know one of five infants so five infants okay you need a plural five infants you need one infant in five is also fine because now it's like the you know one in one infant in five is also correct because uh, you know one infants in five is wrong yes everybody understood this part one of five infants is correct because it's five infants the counting is five infants one of five infants is also correct you know one infant is also fine because it's like one infant is singular right now we have to so with the word infant infants we were able to eliminate only one now we have to move to the azr now here is a uh, it's just a small rule when you say uh, one uh, one boy uh, uh, just hold on for a second as much chair for a second so when you say uh, that you know uh, one of my best friends or one of my friends one of my friends one of my friends it's always is because of my friends forget you know of my friends you know one is is if i say two of my friends it will be are yes suminder what's up ओके one infant r is wrong one infant in five is is correct right one of five infants is is also correct one in five is also correct yes understood yes okay now let's see right now which one do we need is born blah 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 uh compared so uh, if we just compare this you know we see uh compared to one of seven infants where it should have been was so this is out d is your correct answer so now you can you can you know i can go into some really high level grammar saying that one of five infants means something else one infant in five means something else but why should i do that you know when i'm able when i you know when they that that rule is not getting tested you know that that type of high level grammar is not tested in this question this question is a very very clear subject verb agreement very very clear singular plural only thing is that there are multiple instances of singular uh, singular plural error that is the only thing your correct answer in this case is d yes anna yeah yeah both are correct there's no error in that see this uh, both are correct there is a difference in meaning but that is that is english grammar you know that is not gmat english okay so english language has tons of chote mote you know just minute minute you know rules but those rules are never tested on the gmat so on the gmat you were not required you will never reach a situation where you will be able to uh, where you are you will be asked to choose between compared to and compared with so don't worry about this we gmat is extremely sing, uh, extremely extremely simple don't make it complex yeah yeah there will be you know so don't worry about that in in this question also you know you can say i compared it you know, compared with you no know, uh, in this question also see what is getting compared with you know infant being compared with infant so infant being compared to in so both of them are correct right 
both compared with and compared to perfectly correct because uh, in all the options uh, you know infants are getting compared with infants so don't worry about it this is there is uh, it's the exactly same meaning uh, so don't worry about it you, you know there is no error in that okay so this is a simple singular plural uh, question where students get stuck is that they see one of five infants one infant in five okay which one is correct but that's not what you have to do you know one of seven infants where that's wrong you know gmat is extremely simple do, uh, people over complicate it so whenever people you know uh, whenever students or uh, they get into thing of oh meaning clarity this was not uh, you know uh, not the intention of this sentence so see I, I, I would say don't even get into it just apply no just apply simple rules you'll get the answer you don't have to 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 understand whether there is a meaning error or not you have to read all the options you have to read everything gmat is not going to make you do that understand that even the highest level now this gmat question you know it was rated as a high difficulty level question you know but you can solve it with simple rules you just need to know how to apply those rules that's it that's it and do you guys know how a question is rated difficult or or easy by gmat you know that right it is totally dependent on data what percentile of students get it wrong you know or what percentile of students so uh, get it correct by the way you know so if lower percentile students you know get it um, correct they rate the question as a high difficulty level question now my argument is that just because somebody else got it wrong does not mean i will get it wrong I uh, know uh, and it does not even mean that I am smarter than the other people who got that wrong. It's just simple law, simple thing that just because somebody gets something correct, I may not get it correct. Just because somebody got it wrong, I may not get it wrong. Just understand that, you know. Okay. Let's do this. Now you guys are getting it getting it wrong. Come on guys. No, you are not applying the basic stuff that I told. You know, not applying the basic stuff. Okay, Suminder has got it correct. Okay, now Arnav also got it correct. Okay. good i'm happy that you guys got it correct but uh, it should not be that difficult okay uh first things you know these are the they should be should have come up uh, you know has postponed has prospered so now when i see has prospered na so i just to see whether this error is there somewhere so i see when prospering okay was so the error whether it's a singular plural will be now will be close to the word pros prospering it's not going to be somewhere else so i have seen that and at the end of the sentence i have also seen has have right now let's see what you do right so uh, i i don't know what what is what it has or what it's going to be so i read so many organizations i i'm very glad to see the word which you no know, it just means that i don't have to read this to begin with you know i don't have to read this to begin with many organizations many organizations has or have organizations plural we need have right yes so now i am down to these two so the difference is you know up until a few years ago 
you know was prospering and when prospering okay first of all you know when pros uh, this time is already given a few years ago so you don't need it the when but still you know let's see prospering on so uh so this is making it extremely unnecessary you know up until a few years ago was made, makes more sense right instead of having a uh, when prospering now what now, now gmat trap is it's giving you was and you will think that well it's many organizations many organizations should be have not was so you read you know it's now in this now you cannot you know what is it talking what is it talking about now you have to read to say that in the environmental preservation industry right which so one thing about the word such as which that is that you know it refers to the noun immediately before it which is actually the environmental preservation industry in environment preservation industry is one thing so it was this until a few years ago is describing the environment preservation industry it is not describing the organization okay everybody clear yes arnab got it this is this is a little tricky question so uh, but i am i am happy that some of you got it correct you know okay in this question you know let's do it this way that you know you guys uh, first type the answer and then explain to me how you got it and then i'll let you know right you first type in the answer i will tell you whether the answer is right or wrong okay then if it is right you tell me how you got it this is a little difficult so i'll give you a heads up no wrong all of you got it wrong try again no no uh, suminder you are you are wrong your your basic your first step of elimination itself wrong so with u2 and first step of elimination you have not been able to get it correct
Yep. Yes, E. E is the correct answer. No, Arnav. Just stick to the basics. Stick to the basics. Yep. Okay. Yeah. I'll give you another another trick here. Okay. Yes, the semicolon. You don't know whether it's is or are. By the way, you know, just if you just stuck to the basics and say just remove the this portion. Remember, we you can remove the portion between the two commas, right? So, which crest and traps is just giving some qualities about the moving pattern, right? The resulting moving pattern is so. Even I mean, I'll come to this later on. No, but if you just remove, if you just see, you know, you the moment you see the portion between two commas, now you just you just check whether it's talking about the stuff before or not, right? Which crest and traps? So it's just kind of describing what type of pattern. So it's like moving the moving pattern is so it's your R's are out. Everybody with me till now? So is is okay. Now now there is a higher this is a little higher level redundancy. Okay, you guys you guys are aware of the concept of redundancy, right? Everybody knows redundancy. So if I say both of the two, then it's redundant. Both means two. Yes. So that is so those are those are like extra words. So anything that, that's you don't uh, if one word is giving the meaning and if you have two words giving the same meaning that's called redundancy. Okay, now remain and stationary is a higher level redundancy. Remain means stay, you know, uh, and stationary means stay. So remain and stationary. So instead of remain, you know, if I have R that are stationary, so that's that's still okay. But that remain stationary it's a higher level redundancy. So that's why this option is, you know, your uh, this, this option is out. But with uh, singular plural, you should have been able to come to the, uh, you know, come to at least C and E. Okay, so E is your answer. Now I'll tell you the semicolon part. Now this is a cool trick. That hang on. Uh, in this case, for instance, to see whether it's E or R, so uh, you you probably started with you know reading. So now semicolon is exactly like a full stop semicolon is exactly like the full stop you know with semicolon a new sentence starts a new meaning starts so you need not read anything before that just read as the resulting you know you can actually totally ignore this portion of the question okay. and this is another GMAT trap. The fact that they have given you the apogees of our mountain range, you know, is that uh, people, so that they want people to go with R. They want people to go with R. So that's why they give this. But the trick is to totally ignore whatever comes before the semicolon. <coughs> right? So uh, this. Uh, Remain and stay. Redundancy, by the way, you know, redundancy is uh, is very uh, commonly tested on the GMAT, and there are some uh, lesser known redundancies. You know that we probably use in our day-to-day -day language, but it's wrong. Things like expert authority. That oh, he's an expert authority on the program, uh, on the on the whatever project or on the subject. Now, expert and authority are redundant. You know, so. There are some higher level redundancies that GMAT tests, you know, that we use it in our day to day level. So when you say, oh, please remain stationary, right? Or uh, so, I mean, we say that, but that's wrong, you know, remain and stationary are, are redundant, you know. You can say, uh, stay stationary, or you, you can just say, be stationary, or you should say, uh, remain there, you know, you just can't, you can't say remain stationary, okay? You can't say stay stationary also, okay? Clear everybody? <coughs> so 
so this is this was our last question of the day